River Rats, that was a cold, foggy, slow, white knuckle at times right up here, but we made it to the first spot we want to fish, or at least a spot we want to fish, and uh, uh, there's there's been some things happening. I'll tell you in a little bit, but we're getting lines in the water, and hopefully good things happen. Hopefully big fish things happen. So let's go. You check the drags on those reels? I don't want you to get the chicken juice on the reels anyway. You initially don't get a bite when you catch a 90. It was on chicken. 100%. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like half delirious because all my cameras are dying. Our pet's heads are falling <laughs> off. <laughs> he was an old bird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, we got a line tangler coming in. Yeah, so bait was a concern yesterday, but, uh, oh, there's a fish. It's gotta be Catfish Hunter there. Yeah, we ended up uh, going to the secret bait spot. It was supposed to have a bunch of shad. Turns out uh, the shad, it was so secret, the shad didn't even know about it. Uh, but we figured it out, we got some bait, and uh, we, we do have chicken. We have lines out, we're gonna start here. This is, we have a plan. I don't know if it's a good plan. I mean, plans are only good if they work, right? We don't know if it's gonna work, but we know what we're gonna start doing. And you're looking at it. We're gonna progress through the day and... Oh. Not gonna eat chicken. I'm not. You never know. Hopefully a catfish will. So what's our jobs here? Who's reeling? Who's netting? Who's? Oh, I think we'll probably cross the river when we get there. I like to have Might bridges at least mapped out. Yeah, <laughs> I'll take the first fish. Yeah, I'll net it. Yeah. You are an excellent net man. I will give you that, Seth. No, I'll tell you. If you sucked, if you sucked, I'd also tell you. I'll be in reserve in case any rods need moved or anything like that. Yeah. If not, I'm. Feeling 20-ish minutes here. It's warming up. I want to get in that current. But this is by far the warmest morning we've had. Oh, yes. We are not going to stay behind dikes very long. Good. Do we need a timer for this water? We watch him. We had baits in the water by 7.05. We'll give it till 7.13. Give it till 7.25 okay. is what I vote. I'm going to sit back and relax, enjoy me a monster, because one thing I do know is catfish can feel the tension. Mm. And if you're too on the ball, you just don't bite as good. You know, it is funny how people get super cocky and stuff with catfish in tournaments and everyone's like pedal to the metal all the time. But then once you're actually fishing for them, it is the least intense style of fishing that there ever was. Yeah, just hurry up and wait, you know? Well, we made it. I really want to leave. <laughs> By the time we get all six rods in, it'll be like at the end of the time. So, yeah, we got these cool cup holders in the multi that we use. Yep, reel it up. Oh, that was Chile. I appreciate your dedication to the chicken. Good. Yeah, perfect. You got some chicken salmonella on there too? Ah, oh, dang it. Catfish love salmonella. I've heard that. Yeah. One of their favorite foodborne illnesses. <laughs> I'm all shaky from being cold. I took my jacket off and that was stupid. What? Oh, switch besides. It's got nibbed. Nothing crazy. Oh, nice air.
Now we're just not hitting them brush piles. Time to roll. I'm gonna move the chicken one to your side because I don't want to touch it. <laughs> <laughs> it's working almost as good as the shad today. It's just as good. I so want to see a fish eat that chicken. I'm really glad you brought it. All, right, all rods in. Catch anything? Yeah. This is true. Sounds like something somebody would say when we haven't caught any fish. <laughs> Man, the weather, it's a gorgeous day. <laughs> I occasionally get a feeling it's not always right. I kind of have a feeling. Are you hooked on a feeling? Hopefully somebody's about to be. I was kind of setting you up for that, right? <laughs> did we kill that whole bag of gummy bears last time? I think we did. Oh, I don't believe you. Gummy worms. <laughs> These are supposed to be good luck, Ryan, but we ruined them. Yeah. I mean, last time there was gummy worms in the boat, I skunked. How much skunk since? <laughs> <Son of a>. <laughs> <laughs> There's a nibble. Maybe. Or did it pop out of? No. Maybe. If he pulls it down. So that's what a bite looks like. I wish he'd come back. I wonder if it's just snagged and he can't get it. It's possible. We'll give him a little bit of time. Oh, there's another one. So that's what a massive surge of dopamine feels like. <laughs> when a three pounder hits. Right. Well, we were reeling up to leave. We have a little pip squeak on here. That's so funny. Um, it's hard to tell because I'm not used to fighting stuff on your gear, but he's throwing me a lot of moves. That is what a fish looks like. Is it a Chan? Oh yeah. Well, that's a blue. Hashtag no skunk. Don't talk about boys. Well, I guess we're going to put some water in the line, huh? Yeah. As long as I don't drop them. Get that little squeaker in there. Watch your step, Ryan. How come there's no water in it? For real, like, Probably just not low enough in the water, I don't know. this is the first time I've ever been in this boat where it didn't have water in the live well when we're just sitting here. Nope, wrong button. Aerator one works, two is not working. I mean, like I said, it's weird that there's no water in there. Yeah, now, I'll get help speed up this process. I got you, bud. Don't worry.
We've been on the clock since we started, but now we're really on the clock. What, two and a half, two, two and a half hours probably? Yeah, we actually have to go back now. Right now? Uh -huh. Like right now, right now? No, we actually have to make it back now. Oh yeah, we have weight in the boat. Before it did not. Right. It went from cold to... Blistering. Yeah, I don't hate it. It's crazy, this is March 2nd. Yeah, yeah, it's came about a degree. Just gotta find that warmer water. They're biting somewhere because like the water's rising, getting warmer, and the temp or her pressure's dropping on top of that. Oh, they're definitely biting somewhere. They always are. The struggle continues. I'm uh, consoling myself through the means of Old Trapper hot and spicy beef jerky. Not a bad therapist. No. You treat me pretty good. Well, I was thinking about scanning this. And Seth's untangling a rig. Might be a good time to scan it. You ready for the whipperoo, Seth? Like a champ. Yeah. Your balance is impeccable. So anyway, there's a duck out there I'm very perplexed by, and he's all alone. He doesn't want to leave us, or maybe he can't. I don't know. By duck, I, th I think I mean it's a snow goose. Tiny. Yeah, just a little tyke. So... We got an hour and a half-ish? Yeah. Okay. Let's do this and let's make a run. Yeah. Good idea. Glad I thought of it. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> Full of good ideas today. He's trying so hard. Oh goodness. He's gonna be a tangled mess too, ain't he? <laughs> How are we in this one? He's not two pounds. Okay. He's five pounds? I don't know. I never caught a decent fish on these rocks. They make him feel big. The, the reel's got some hand, some power, but the, the rod's got the gear. It might be 10. That'd be neat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He might go 12, 15, 29. 18, I don't know. That's my, that was my first instinct when I was on. He hit. Like a much smaller fish. <laughs> it's yeah, he might go 18. You've never weighed a fish. <laughs> That's an inside joke. Seth used to help run this tournament trail and weighed a lot of fish. Much larger than this, but we'll put him in the live one too. You will help the car. Yep. Move that fish around. I wish he'd Wanna open that? Well, you got a friend. <laughs> We're slowly working on our respect for that. We just need it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can't believe he hit that light. I know. I was thinking it was like a three pounder. When, you, when I was reeling in, I was like, he's got to be bigger than four or five pounds, but I don't want to sound like an idiot either. <laughs> in fact, he was equal to almost four four pounders. Right. Well, more than four four pounders. You don't have to worry, Seth. You always sound like an idiot. That's true. <laughs> some strength, right? We got three minutes. 
What time are we leaving? 2.40? Yeah, 10 minute drive. You got a reel in at 2.40. What time is it? 2.37. Plenty of time. Yeah. We're gonna reel in 3 or 4.90s by then. At least. Two minutes. Yep. Uno momento. See where we end up. I think what surprised me the most wasn't that we struggled. It was how tough the fishing was for pretty much everybody in the tournament. Now, granted, there were still some really big fish that got brought to the scales, but uh, a large percentage I believe almost 50% of the field didn't weigh a thing. And that included some really, really good tournament anglers and even local guides. Uh, that's one thing about some of these big waters is they can produce absolutely monstrous fish and then they can kick you square in the teeth the next day. And that's what I love about them the most. But we ended up 30th out of like 80 some teams and not the best showing, but not the worst. And that ended up being a pretty darn fun tournament. And I, I look forward to the next one. Um, what I really wanted to get out of tournament fishing wasn't to win or, you know, like any fame or fortune, which is not going to happen in catfishing tournaments uh, anyway. But what I really wanted to get out of it was to become a better cat fisherman and competition is usually what pushes me to really, really improve. And I feel like I've made some big jumps already, which chalked that up as success. So hope you enjoy these. Uh, I'm definitely going to be fishing more in the future. And hopefully with all this, I'll, I'll be catching some more fish in the future. But thanks for watching. It means a ton. It really does. Hope you catch a giant. Thank you.